Hey guys! Howdy! My name's Christine. And I'm Mo. And this is the Roomies Digest. Welcome. In today's video, we are going to be doing our Pixie Hollow TBR. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum, da. Who wants to go first? We're, I think we're taking separate paths, so. Yes. Okay, so if you watched our announcement video, we said that we were going to be doing the same path, but Monique, in a Hail Mary move, <laughs> has decided to go down a completely different path. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> but I think we're all, we're both going to end up in the same, at the, at same. the end goal. Yes. What is it? Goal? Finishing line? Whatever. Same spot? Yeah. Area on forget the map. it. So uh, each of the maps start off with Queen Clarion. <laughs> I am going to be starting with the ruler Pixie Hollow, and for that prompt, I will be reading Princess Diaries. I'm so excited. And be rereading. Yes, rereading Princess Diaries. I'm reading it for Middle Grade March, and I saw this, and I was like, "This fits perfectly." Hello, what? So, I will be reading Princess Diaries for the ruler Pixie Hollow. And then for me, I'm gonna be obviously starting off with Queen Clarion as well. And I will be starting down the blue path, which is the path of faith. And it's going to start with when spring meets winter, which is a little nod to Queen Clarion's little romance. And I'm gonna be reading Shatter Me, which is the first in a long six book series, I think something like that. I don't know too much about it other than the main character when she touches people, she kills them. Oh no! That is very Addie LaRue, but I think it's YA. I'm not really sure. I've just seen a lot of people read it. My good, good friend, Pages Over People on Instagram. She loves this series. There's apparently a love triangle. So I am like here for the ride. I am here for the ride. My next um, move on the map will be Sister, Sister. And this is so for Periwinkle. Yeah. I will be reading Actor Age Eve Brown. The new release by Talia Hibbert. I'm reading it for the Sugar and Spice book club as well. I thought this would be perfect. A perfect addition. A little tie-in. Yes. I'm like, tie I really in. have to think smart with these choices. Read you know? smart. I, yeah. It's like, I don't have enough time to do everything I want. It's just not enough time. Anyway. It's so true. I'm reading this low-key out of orders. The series. I haven't read Danny Brown. I've only read Chloe. So I'm hoping it's okay. I think it is. I've got... A go ahead with some friends that said it was fine so but i will be telling you guys if it's not so you won't have to do that to yourself stay tuned <laughs> yes <laughs> um and then i'm gonna be reading for the other prompt on the other side of the board which will be the winter fairy prompt and i am going to be reading wicked sings which takes place in a winter wonderland and that's all i know about it okay i have heard that it's a fantasy i've heard that it's in a kingdom I've heard that I'm gonna like it and that's the gospel truth. So that is what I'm gonna be reading for that prompt. I've never heard of this book. I know. <laughs> I can't tell if it's cause it's bad or if it's, it's it looks just like Owen that Wilson under on the, the side. radar. On the side there. Oh, this is actually a girl. Oh. <laughs> in my video, I know you haven't watched it yet, but in my video I called her um, emo cottage girl chic. Uh-huh. <laughs> I really thought that was an Owen Wilson sketch. <laughs> that the main character i think so okay. yeah that i think it centers, centers around her anyway if you guys know i'll put it up in the cards but i just recently book swapped and got this from casey from case can reads and i'm super excited to read it all right and then the next move is going to be to silver mist for me or i guess for everyone i'm going to be doing the water lily prompt which is find or read a book with um asian representation and I will be doing I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. It's the group read for the BTS Redefine, but I feel like it was perfect for this as well. Um, it's pretty much about a K-pop aspiring trainee who's trying to bake break boundaries because she's not like the typical you know k-pop idol she doesn't have the typical frame the body so it's about body positivity inclusivity and you know just breaking normal norms barriers so i'm excited to read it and then mine is going to be on the other side of the board of course water fairy which has to be a book dealing with water and as we all know i am going to be reading starless sea for vish's uh channel read books with v so yeah i mean I don't really know anything about this book other than it doesn't have a plot. We kind of touched on this in our March TBR, but obviously we're not really sure what this book is going to be about, only that it probably will be tragic and break our hearts. So, 
that's what I'm reading for that prompt. Yeah. We'll see how that goes for us. So now we're at Tinkerbell's spot. And, you know, she has two prompts like everyone else. And I will be choosing the main character energy prompt. Pretty much the chosen one trope. And for this one, I was kind of indecisive. I didn't know if I wanted to do A Court of Mist and Fury or Siege and Storm. But I decided I'm going to do Siege and Storm for this one. She's pretty, if you guys know, Lena has special abilities. That. Pretty much the OG chosen chosen one. Yeah, so I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this, but I saw the trailer and I'm just trying to get a six of crows. Like, who is the man with the cane? He's hot. I can't get there if I don't read the book. <laughs> Daddy so, Cass. I'm like, who Ooh! are you? What is your name? What okay. is your phone number? Okay. <laughs> I know he's fake, I know. <laughs> All right, and then for this prompt, of course, I'm gonna be on the other side and I will be doing fairy tales, which has to do with magical elements. So for this prompt, I'm going to be reading Woven in Moonlight. Hey guys, what's up? It's Editing Christine. I got some intel that Woven in Moonlight was um, a really racist book as well as has a bunch of issues with it um, from a friend who I trust, so. I'm not reading that. Instead, I'm going to be reading Crooked Kingdom, which is going to make me read Six of Crows before Crooked Kingdom. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the Tinkerbell prompt. Carry on. All right, now we're on to Vidya. You know, she's going to be the one that switches it up on us. So for my path i'm going to go to think fast which is a prompt with an unreliable narrator so for this one i'm picking mexican gothic i feel like there's a big twist in this book and i think this is going to be perfect for the think fast prompt and then for this next prompt of course this is where we continue on to the same path because now monique is on the blue path and i'm going to also be doing the think fast prompt which is unreliable narrator as you guys know the silent patient has an unreliable narrator we think question mark question mark question mark because the main character kills her husband and then never speaks a word ever again so there's some mystery, there's some intrigue, there might be a little bit of thriller in there. I'm not really sure, but The Silent Patient is next on my TBR and that's what I'm gonna be reading. All right, so next up we have Fawn and I'm gonna be reading the Not Like Other Girls trope. And for this one, it's going to be A Court of Mist and Fury. I think this goes without saying, but there are some relationships in this book that will make one feel special, I would hope. So that is it. And honestly, I have to read this. I promised again, Maria, if you're watching, I said I was going to read it. I've made myself read it so many different ways. I'm reading it for so many readathons. I got you, girl. And then for this same prompt, I'm going to be reading Daughter of Smoke and Bone. She's not like other girls because she lives with a family that she was not born into. So if that's not like other girls, I don't know what is. Okay. And now we're at my prompt. Iridessa, okay? We are on Black Girl Magic. I asked you guys on TikTok and Instagram what I should read, and the answer was overwhelmingly Legendborn, okay? I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Arrow was like, Legend Born, Legend Born. Hey guys, it's Editing Christine again. Also, I forgot to say that I was going to read Legendborn 2 for the Black Girl Magic prompt. I thought I said it, but I think I just said it in my head when we were doing it. So, ha ha. Anyway, that is the other book that I'm going to be reading. Carry on. Um, <laughs> and last but not least, we have Rosetta. Who is going to be our lovely Ooh. flower girl. Garden fairy. Yes. And for that one, I am going to double up. I know, but I didn't have that many options. It's the prompt is garden fairy. It's if there's a flower on the cover. Mm -hmm. I am going to be reading These Violent Delights. So yes. Your flower is very prominent. Like, bah, bah, and mine's yeah. like subtle. It's subtle. I'm like, is it wilted? I'm worried. Anyway. Who knows? It's a gothic tale. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know what These Violent Delights is about, it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling, which takes place in Shanghai and features gangs and all kinds of other stuff mixed reviews so i cannot wait to get to this one i'm also buddy reading it with nicole lee i'm excited okay oh yes i'm reading this for a book club <laughs> and then the last book on this list is our buddy read which is of course guilded ones guilded ones 
I don't know what that book's about to this day. To this day, we know that it is a <laughs> fantasy. We think it's probably a combination of many of the um, prompts, chosen, chosen one, magical elements. Um, I feel like it's better if I go into a fantasy blind because I just get so jaded. Like. Yeah. So anyways, that is our Tinkerbell Readathon TBRs. Let us know what you guys are reading. We want to know what path you're taking. You know, if you have any suggestions. Yeah, which TBR card are you going to be using? Because <laughs> I did make them. Yes. She did. Art was by Christine. <laughs> Christine is an artist. Art by Christine. <laughs> Signature. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, really excited for you guys. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to support this channel and turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss another video from us. Till so next time. until next time. I am not that excited. I'm trying to, I'm like trying to channel Raven Simone because that is who played Iridessa. So I'm like, should I have a vision? <gasps> I should have a vision. I think. What? I am envisioning seeing you guys next time. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. No, I'm try again. Wait, that was a good one. I just had a vision. Wait, no, wait. Oh my gosh, should I be Chelsea? Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Okay. <gasps> what happened? I have a vision. What? We're going to see you guys next time. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye.